Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Scentsy consultant. Today I am bringing you my weekly what I've been warming video where I go through warm reviews of all these Scentsy bars that I've warmed this week. So I've again got them divided kind of by room here in um, how I went through them. So we'll start with the office that I'm in right now, my home office. So first I did birthday wishes. This one is like cake batter, caramel, and just it's very vanilla sweet with just a little bit of like extra sweetness that I think comes from caramel. And this one, normally I find medium performance for like an average duration, maybe a day, day and a half. Um, in this little office that I'm in, I generally keep the door to this room shut when we're not in here. And this one lasted like days, like several days. So normally that's not the case, but I got a really good melt from this one in this smaller room. Um, that doesn't have a whole lot of airflow or traffic coming in and out of it. So it did well there. Um, I have this in my club. I really, really enjoy this scent. It's just a really nice like birthday cake vanilla without being too much of anything. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly caramel. There's not a lot, there's no chocolate in here. It's a nice unadulterated cake scent. So I really like it. Next, I warmed the new Roll the Dice fragrance. This one I think has like balsam and like citrus notes and something else. There's like maybe some herbal notes in here. Um, I just did one cube because it did seem quite strong. And I would say in the clamshell it's like medium strong. It's a stronger one. So I just did one cube in this room as well. And this one is very strong. I think this would do very nicely in an open layout. Um, for me, the scent appeal is a bit of a problem. I like it okay on cold. On cold to me, it's like a slightly cologne masculine balsam scent, like a balsam based men's body wash um, with some herbal notes in there. And it's actually pretty nice. Like I don't mind it at all. Um, warming though, it got very intense and maybe it's just this room, maybe it would do nicer in a larger space where it can spread out more but it was very concentrated um very intense the balsam's definitely there but it's kind of like a deep ground like it kind of had like a foresty smell in like a i don't know like the dirt and the leaves and like i don't know it was kind of like earthy earthy in a way that i didn't care for um Yes, I also do get citrus from here. I would identify it as grapefruit because to my nose it's just a little bit bitter, like a bitter citrus. Um, yeah, and on warm, I feel like the grapefruit is what I smell too. I don't know that there's grapefruit in here. I think it just has citrus, but I would say it's probably grapefruit. That's what I smell on warm as well. Um, now it is on day three in here and it's doing quite a bit better. Like it's not as intense when you walk in and it is kind of like mellowed a little bit. So now it's more just a citrusy balsam with some earthiness to it. Um, and it's a little bit more tolerable now, but before it was very strong. So I don't know that I would melt this in a very small space because it's really intense even with just the one cube. So I would do this in a bigger space. Um, if you like this scent, the performance is fantastic. So no complaints there at all. Um, for me, the scent appeal on warm was not my favorite. Um, on cold, I kind of liked it. On warm, it just became a lot. Yeah. I would say the earthy notes that you smell on cold really amplified on warm. So there was that. That was in the office here, and that is the roll of the dice. Next in the bathrooms. I did one more cube of Keep It Sassy. This one's great in the bathroom. It just smells really good for a bathroom. I used it in my daughter's bathroom this week. One cube in there lasted like four or five days. Like it lasted most of the week and you could actually still smell it when you walked into the room. So it did really well in there. I didn't get this into my club and I probably won't repurchase, but it's actually growing on me. For a scent that I did not like in my open layout, I really, really do like this one for the bathroom. Next, I did jeweled pomegranate, one cube in our bathroom. And this one's like, pomegranate and I feel like there's like a tree note in here like there has to be some kind of tree note it's got a bit of a tree base to it 
Um, I like this one a lot. This is the kind of scent I usually like to warm in my house at the holidays. Um, and it was nice to just get a little preview of that in the bathroom this week. So this one lasted a few days. It was pretty strong. I'd say it's a good performer. Um, I would say medium strong. It actually overtook a lot of the bedroom at that time. So it was a really good performer and I really enjoy the scent myself. Um, it's a juicy dark red pomegranate with like a bit of a tree note in the background is what I'm smelling. Um, yeah, it's a good one. It's very deep and juicy and it kind of feels very November-ish to me. Um, so it's a little bit early, but I liked this one. Um, and again, performance was good. Then I finished a bar of cashmere and corduroy, one cube in my bathroom again. And this one is nice. This one is like Sicilian bergamot, vanilla, and sandalwood. And it's just very pretty, feminine, strong, and like cozy. You definitely get like the sandalwood and the vanilla. And the bergamot might just be lending that like perfumey quality. There's a little bit of like a like a, I don't want to say sharpness, but like a slight sharp perfume quality. But overall, the scent is not sharp. It's really, really pretty. I love this one. This one will go in my club at the end of the season. This one is a must-have. Great for open layouts as well. It's a gooder. Then last I did in the bathrooms, one cube of Just Breathe. And this one is like eucalyptus, lemon, and mint. And it smells like eucalyptus, lemon, and mint. Like those are the three notes you can pick out. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no added stuff in there that I can tell. It's just those three things and it's really nicely done. Very spa-like, good for the bathroom. Then in my bedroom, I did my wish, finished off a bar. It is like violet, fig, and marshmallow. It is so, so, so nice. It's definitely like a sugared violet and definitely like the marshmallow comes through on warm. There's a lot of marshmallow. This one is like an average performer. I would say middle of the road for throw, middle of the road for duration. I love my wish, it's in my club. This one I got from another consultant. This one is cashmere and pear, or sorry, just cashmere pear. And I'll put the notes below. On cold, this one is very nice. I kind of get like, it smells like ginger ale, sort of. You do get pear, like the sweetness of pear. And there's like a musk, like sort of like a really clean musk. Like a very clean feminine musk. It's really pretty. Like this is a beautiful scent. I'm not sure when this was available. This is the old Bring Back My Bar packaging. This is beautiful. So I did two cubes in my bedroom. It's still going today. This one is so pretty. I would say it's average throw and duration it's still going on day two so I can't say duration just yet but this one I wish I could get more of this and I wish it come, would come back so we could put it in our clubs this is a very pretty scent so if you've tried this let me know what you think of cashmere pear um, and if you haven't if you ever see it you should get your hands on it because it's very good on warm it just that pear is there but it's just this very like enveloping cozy, like pretty scent. It's just a perfect scent for the bedroom. If you like Pacific Sandalwood, I think you would like this. I think there is some sandalwood in here probably. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. I really like it. Yeah, this one's fantastic. Cashmere pear. Um, in my daughter's room, I did two cubes of Looney Tunes, the new Looney Tunes bar. And this one, to me, is very cool. So, it kind of smells like melon to me and like maybe a little bit of apple. I think apple juice is in the notes and I think that's what's unique about this one is that it's not your bright crisp apple that you normally get in apple scents. It's like apple juice and like I get melon. So this one is really nice. For me, it's strong. Like we put it in her room, which is like a average size bedroom. Um, and it like took over half the house. Like it took over like the entire hallway and like up to like the open layout area. So it took up like half the house, just two cubes. And it was really strong. I would say average duration though. I think we got two days out of it. It wasn't overly long. It was two days though. So pretty solid. Um, 
and strong. I would say this is a strong scent. Would do just fine in, in any open layout, I think. Um, yes. This one, for me, felt out of season. So this is a very summery scent. It's got a coolness to it. Like, a, there's a definite coolness to it. So I think it's very, very, very nice for summer. I will probably save the rest of the bar for summer. Um, it's a good one. I may or may not get more. I'm not sure. If I do, it'll be to use in the summertime. But that is a good one. That is Looney Tunes. Then we did one cube in her room of Oh Boy. And I did Oh Boy just one cube because it seems fairly strong in the packaging to me. And she was just getting over a cold, so I didn't want to overwhelm her room. So we did one cube. And this scent itself on cold is kind of like fruit punchy. I get like fruit punch vibes. It's good. It's a really nice, I almost get like a, like a slight, slight, slight red licorice note. Like red licorice in the back and like mostly fruit punch. That's what I smell out of Oh Boy. Um, this one was also strong. Um, the one cube was very strong, but very short lived. So I would say average to strong, short duration. This one was like a 12 hour one and then you couldn't smell it at all. Um, usually they kind of start high and then taper off. This one was start high and then boom, like it just kind of went down very quickly. So strong while it lasted, but it didn't last long. Either way, I like this scent. She likes this scent for her room. So that's oh boy. Then I did more of this Candle Warmers Artisan Collection Lavender and White Sage. I did this in her room as well because I'd done it in my room last week and it was not very strong and it didn't last very long. But I wanted something lavender and soft for her room. This was the first thing I warmed after she got over that cold. So we did two cubes because it's not very strong in her room. And again, same thing as that happened in my room. This one didn't perform that great. I actually don't think we could smell this one like much at all in her room. And it was definitely less than one day. Like if you could smell it at all, it was for like five or six hours, same as in our room. So changing the room did not help the performance of this one. Generally, I like candle warmers wax. This particular bar though, I would not repurchase and that is the lavender and white sage. It smells great. It's like a nice herbal classic lavender. Um, I don't really get sage from it, but again, I can't really smell it that well on warm. So that one was a no thank you. Then I finished up our bar of three wishes in her room and we just finished this one. I just changed the wax before I filmed this. So this one is like blueberry slushy with like cotton candy, like blue raspberry slushy with cotton candy. Um, very sweet, very blue, <laughs> like blue raspberry. Um, very close to berry bright. I've heard people say it's close to blueberry rush, but I've not smelled blueberry rush myself to make that comparison. Um, but three wishes. I would say this is a medium strong performer, like maybe a six. And I would say, average to slightly longer duration. Um, it does at least two days and it could probably go longer if you wanted it to. So yeah, three wishes I would repurchase. I've actually put this in my club and um, yeah, so I like three wishes. If you are looking for a blue raspberry scent that performs pretty decently, um, sometimes these like very sweet kind of not very complex scents don't last all that long. This one does pretty well. It does last longer than Berry Bright in my, in my opinion and in my experience. So that's three wishes. Then to my open layout. So on Friday, it was a blustery Friday in fall. And I remem remember watching a Patricia Gates video where she said that her like go-to scent for a blustery fall day would probably be apple butter frosting. So I was like, well, let's do it. I had not warmed apple butter frosting before, but I, I did have a bar in my collection, so I warmed most of it, six cubes in my open layout, in three different warmers. And this one is, I get a little bit of like almond extract from the bar itself. I don't get that on warm, but on cold here, I get like apple, definitely like a sweetness of frosting, a little bit of spice, like just a tiny, tiny bit of cinnamon and like almond extract. On warm, it was quite a bit different and I actually liked it a lot better on warm. It was like apple pie filling type apple and spice. So cinnamon, maybe some nutmeg, um, like cooked apple, like from an apple pie maybe, with like a lot of sweetness. So 
you don't get like frosting per se, but it's like a very sweet apple pie filling type scent and not as dry as like an apple pie filling scent. It was just really, really yummy. Um, I would say this one is pretty strong. Um, at least a six, maybe a seven in the open layout. And it lasted two days. So pretty good duration. We like that a lot. So that one we did for Friday and Saturday. And that was really good. I would buy this again. I don't think it's one I would reach for constantly, but it is one that I would want to have like a bar of per year to just kind of enjoy because it does seem to really have a place in the catalog. That's a good one. Then I did up my bar of Orchard Apple and Spice. This was originally on cold, my least favorite of the Harvest Collection trio. And it is like, this is one that is very much like the description it says. So it says it's like apple, cranberry, and warm spices. And the warm spices really comes through. It's a very like apple cidery type apple with some like cherry, but the cherry is very tempered by those warm spices. So it's not a fruity bright cherry, it's more of a deep warm spicy cherry. And on warm this was nice. I don't like the smell of this on cold at all. This one has some really funky notes going on um, that are quite sharp and unpleasant on cold. On warm, I did not get this. This was a warm, spicy, like apple, cherry scent. It was quite nice. I would say it did medium throw in the open layout um, and average duration, maybe a day and a half. It was all right. It wasn't a standout performer, but it was a solid, adequate performer. No complaints there. Um, scent appeal for me was okay. Again, if you're looking for like an apple cidery, cherry, warm, spicy scent, this was a good one. I personally wouldn't repurchase this one, but it was nice to try. And it did end up melting a lot nicer than I thought it would based on the cold sniff. So if you have bars that you really don't like, always warm them anyways, just to see, because um, it can go either way. You, It may not change much or it may get a lot better. And sometimes it gets worse, <laughs> like with roll the dice for me. Um, but yeah, that was Orchard Apple and Spice and that was not a bad one. Then I did some Toasted Acorn and Oak and I did this in my open layout as well. This one is also from the Harvest Trio. This one is very close to vanilla bourbon on cold. So you get that kind of like nutty vanilla brown sugary type scent. It's mostly like you definitely get the acorn here. It's a very nutty scent. It's good. Very sweet and nutty. On warm, this one did really nicely. It wasn't as maple-y as maybe vanilla bourbon seemed to be on warm. Um, I like this a lot. It was strong, strong, strong. I would say strong throw and long duration. So if you want one of those long lasting, strong scents, toasted acorn and oak is one of them. Um, if you like those kind of scents, I would put this one in your club because this one did really well. It performed better than vanilla bourbon, in my opinion, and it had a little bit more complexity. So I think if vanilla bourbon, you liked the general feel of vanilla bourbon, but it just kind of fell short for you in either scent or performance, try toasted acorn and oak because it's like they took vanilla bourbon and like made it 10 times better. So that's toasted acorn and oak. Yeah, this one is really good. I would probably get this one again. I may even put this in my club. Maybe. The club's getting pretty full, so I don't know. But it's a good contender for sure. Then I did a mix. So this is caramel apple craze and salted caramel toffee. So in three warmers, I did this in my open layout. In one warmer, I did just two cubes of caramel apple craze. In the other two warmers, I did one cube caramel apple craze and one cube salted caramel toffee. So it ended up being four cubes of salted caramel apple, or sorry, four cubes caramel apple craze and two cubes salted caramel toffee in total. Um, that was a good mix. This one on its own is a nice like apple caramel scent. There is some caramel to this one. Like even on its own, there is caramel to this. You can definitely smell it in there. But I wanted to amp it up a little bit. I wanted more caramel. So I threw some of this in the warmers as well. Um, this one is just like butterscotch, caramel, and toffee. 
And you can definitely smell all three of those things in here. It's a really good one. I love it for mixing. So together this was good. Um, not as long lasting as I thought it would be. So I know that salted caramel toffee for me tends to be a shorter duration scent, but strong out the gate. So strong out the gate, but not long lasting. Um, and I hadn't warmed caramel apple craze before, but apple scents tend to be fairly long lasting usually. And this one is pretty strong in the packaging. I would say it's on cold, it's pretty strong. On warm, it was like average to strong. It had no problem in my open layout at all. It did great, um, but not as long lasting as I thought. We got like a day out of it. It was like a one dayer. So I don't know. I'm not sure I'd do this mix again. I did enjoy it, but it wasn't as long lasting as I'd hoped. So there was that. Um, either way, both of these scents I would repurchase again. It was good. Um, but yeah, so there's those. That is all the things I've worn this week. What else did I use? I did also use the Bright Cider Life Scentsy Soak. So I was like, it's brown, what are we doing here? But <laughs> I put it in the water and it did not turn the water brown brown. It was kind of like a reddish, rusty kind of brown which actually made more sense and it felt very fall-like and it was fine. Um, the bready notes that I got from the bag of soak, I did not get in the water. So in the water, it was like a pumpkin cider type scent. Like you could definitely get pumpkin apple cider. Um, it was quite different from the wax scent or the room spray scent. Overall though, I liked it. It was a nice fall bath and you don't often get like festive fall type scents for baths. So. Bright Cider Life bath soap, I think it's good. It is a little bit different from the wax though, so be prepared for that. Um, but if you like Bright Cider Life as a wax scent, I think you would still like this, the soap scent. Um, and don't be too put off by the color because it's not the same color in the water. It's like a rusty brown with like reddish tones. So it was fine. Um, so yes, there's all that. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. I do have a few little things I got with a recent order, but I'm not going to do a whole video on it because it's only like a few little things. Um, I just got like the Muppets bar and a couple room sprays, but I do have a club order coming here hopefully pretty soon. So I will do a haul video of that when it arrives. Um, and I did get some clearance stuff as well from the recent clearance sale. So I will probably do a haul video here soon. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.